Good morning. Doing something a little bit different this morning. Instead of taking a walk around my neighborhood before I get in the car to go to work, I got in the car to go to work and then realized I'm going to take a walk around the park because the park is like a 30 second drive from my house. So we're going to go and do that. This park has a playground in the front. I used to bring my kids here when they were little. The playground was much different then. It wasn't shaded and covered like it is now. But it has a playground in the front and then it has hiking trails over here. And then what used to just be a big park has become a dog park. So not officially, but an unofficial dog park. So there's always dogs roaming around with their people and it's nice but it's a nice big loop to walk around so I'm going to walk around it once and then I'll get in my car to go to work. So a large portion of this walk is uphill and I knew that but I forgot what it would sound like if I'm huffing and puffing uphill while I'm talking to you. So I'm just going to share with you some of the park. It's more beautiful as you get near the top because the view is extraordinary. Looks like they planted a new tree. It's a little baby. So the weather this morning is the weather that I've been like praying for for the longest time. It's cold, well, cold for me. I think it's like 59 degrees and um, it's crisp and I can feel the air on my skin, like tingling it. Oh, there's a bunny. Oh, I wish I could show you. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see her back there. I don't wanna scare her, but there's a bunny right there. Oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but that's one of the things I love about this park people bring their dogs and there's tons of birds that you hear and a bunny every now and then. There's also rattlesnakes and mountain lions but we don't ever really see those. Oh, there's a funny little bird that just, oh, let me see if you can see that. You see the bird drinking out of the dog water dish? Sights and sounds make me so happy. So I'm going to be leaving this place momentarily to go into my classroom where it's not going to sound anything like this. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a gift I'm giving myself today because I haven't ever done this before, which is drive to the park before work and walk. I've been reserving the park for the weekend and um, now I think I need to try something new. It's pleasant, there aren't a lot of people here, and as long as I have enough daylight in the morning before I have to get on the road, um, this might become a new habit. Now, I can't make any promises because, you know, as my friend Tracy, Life in the Wild West, was talking about in her video that she posted today, Sometimes we do things for a little bit until it becomes maybe not boring, but until we like need to do something else new for a little bit. So I really can't ever make myself any promises, but I don't think that that's a good way to live life anyway. Um, 
because you set yourself up for failure that way. So I'm just gonna know that this is an option and remind myself of how it feels to be here right now, getting fresh air and morning sun. And hopefully that'll set me on a good path for my long day ahead. All right, I think this is video five of my 30 day video challenge. Oh, and by the way, about that 30 day video challenge, I, I'm not even trying to be perfect with that. The challenge is just, for me, is not to actually succeed. Like my goal isn't to succeed in making 30 videos in 30 days. My goal for this is to give myself time during the day, a few minutes, with you to share some thoughts and process my own thoughts. And if I do it, great. And if I don't, don't. And if I don't, I don't. But I think this is a good format for doing that. So I'm going to give it a try because why not? Why not? Um, anyway, I want to spend the last few minutes of this walk just by myself. So I'm going to check on out. So this is another calm part of my day. It is the end of my lunch break and I have about 10 minutes left. Mm, yeah, about 10 minutes left now. And this is the time when I get to, well, I get to do what I want to do. So what I want to do right now is what you typically see teachers doing in movies and TV shows when they're being totally lazy in front of the students. I'll show you. I got my feet up on the table. <laughs> but as you saw, there are no students here. Empty classroom. They're all at lunch. Now, a lot of teachers at lunchtime run around and take care of all the things. They go to the office, they make their copies, not coffee, but copies, like copies of paper. They answer emails, they prepare for the next lesson or they socialize with one another in the workroom, which is right back there where that window is. Um, but I don't. I just like to sit here with the lights out and enjoy this space that I created when there's no more chaos in it. Um, so that's my lunch break. So I'm just gonna sit here for a few more minutes and um, yeah. Today, the students go home early and then we have two hours of professional development. This is another problem that I have with this profession. After 26 years, sure, there are things that I might want to continue learning to um, enhance my skill, but when we are professionally developed in education, uh, because they need to check all the boxes every year, they professionally develop us in things that they have already professionally developed us in. <laughs> and we don't get to choose the, our topics for professional development. They are chosen for us. So I've got to go and sit in a two hour meeting for things that I sat in two hour meetings for at least once a year over the last 26 years. <sighs> and then I'll get to be home. So uh, that's it. I'm gonna enjoy about Five more minutes of time just all by myself in this quiet room and then I will see you another time. Thanks for having lunch with me and thanks for walking with me this morning. See you later.